Uh, can I? <laughs> yeah, that, that minister saw it too. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can we accept that? Thank you. Order. The Honourable Jerry Browning. Uh, Mr. Speaker, you you just uh, I think has indicated that we're losing four supplementary questions. Five. Five. Five tomorrow. Uh, well, of course, uh, that, sir, would be because of the, uh, your uh, lack of acceptance of the outrage expressed by people on this side of the House uh, at the uh, very provocative answers given to the uh, questions by the Minister of Statistics. The reality is that it is his responsibility, and he had plenty of time to be able to ensure him, uh, for himself uh, that the census would go, uh, you know, appropriately. It hasn't. And he has to be responsible. For him to try and sheet that home uh, to a previous government is completely unacceptable. And for us to lose the opportunity to question ministers simply because we uh, express some degree of, of uh, surprise that a minister would be so audacious as to try and uh, obfuscate his own responsibilities by pushing them off uh, on the previous government like this, I think is extremely unfair. Well, uh, the Speaker. Right Honourable Winston Peters. Speaker, the fact of the matter is that laying out the chronology of events with respect to the decision making is surely not provocative. It was a plain statement of fact, and if the member can't handle that, then he should find a new profession. Uh, with all due respect, Mr. Speaker. Uh, well, does James Shaw have anything positive to add? <laughs> Um, uh, Mr Speaker, I, I just wanted to point out that I, I have actually uh, referred to um, uh, uh, the member, um, Mr Brownlee, uh, before for using um, points of order to try and make debating points. Uh, and if he wants to have a general debate um, slot on uh, the census, you know, he's welcome to do so. Or if he wants to try and call an urgent uh, debate well, on I, I he's welcome that, to I do so. I think that member is just compounding, uh, compounding the problem. Now, the, the, issue, the issue that I have is that... Um, in the initial part of the last, or the uh, sub supplementary answer that the minister was giving, both sides of the house erupted, um, clearly with contrary points of view uh, on on whether um, a few months was a reasonable amount of time to correct what the uh, what are alleged errors in the preparation of the census. You know, there were there were different points of view, and members were expressing that quite loudly from both sides to the extent where I was having trouble hearing the minister. I then required mem members to be quiet, to be silent, uh, other than the minister in replying. That was understood by all, all members, uh, up to a point where one very loud member, on a couple of occasions, and three other members, um, made um, interjections absolutely contrary uh, to, to what my instructions are. I'm, I'm at a loss uh, what to do. Should I, should I sort of toss them all out? Uh, I mean, there might, there might be a problem for a subsequent debate if I did, uh, or, do, or do we uh, keep going on the, on the basis that I did previous? Uh, maybe, maybe I'll just, seeing it's, seeing it's Wednesday, uh, I'll, be, I'll be a little bit reasonable and revoke my decision, but I do want to, I do want to say to members that when I, when I require silence, um, I should require it, but I, I will also say to the Minister, when he is answering under that sort of requirement, he does have an obligation to cut down the politics uh, and just stick with the facts a bit more. Right. Are there any further supplementaries? No. I have received a